So this is how we would do the nth term of a quadratic sequence. So that's when the sequence is going to have n squared in its nth term. So this is only on the higher paper. So if you're doing the higher paper, have a watch. But if you're doing foundation, don't worry about this. You wouldn't see this on your paper. So firstly, what we're going to do is the difference uh, between 5 and 11, which is plus 6, from 11 to 19, which is plus 8. 8, from 19 to 29, which is plus 10, and 29 to 41, which is plus 12. These numbers are never going to be the same for a quadratic sequence, and we're going to expect that. And we're going to do the difference of those numbers. So from 6 to 8, that's up 2. From 8 to 10, that's up 2. And from 10 to 12, that's up 2. So that number should be the same. And whatever that number is, you are going to half it. So divide that by 2, and that gives us 1 n squared. Now you don't need to write the 1, but I'm just writing it in there to remind you that we've halved that number and it's 1 n squared. Now n squared is just the sequence that is the square numbers. So to get this next bit, now this is where sometimes people get a bit confused, to get the next bit we're going to do 1 squared, because the first number in the sequence n squared would be using a 1. Now 1 squared is 1, and I'm going to line that up with the 5, just makes my life a little bit easier. 2 squared, because 2 is the second number in this sequence, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. And 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. So all we've done to get this sequence here is change n to be 1 for the first position, 2 for the second position, 3 for the third position, 4 for the fourth position, and 5 for the fifth position. I'm then going to do underneath how much more I need to get to the sequence I'm interested in. So 1n squared is good, it gets me 1, but I would need another 4 to get to the sequence that we're after. 4 is good, I'm going to need to get to 11 though, so that's 7 more from here to here. 9 to 19, we need another 10, and 16 to 29, we need another 13, and 25 to 45, uh, 41, sorry, we need another 16. So now, what is the nth term of this? Now this is going up in threes, it's the 3 times table, but an extra 1 bigger, so this is 3n add 1, that's the nth term of this sequence. All together then, I would need the 1 and the 4 to get 5, I'd need the 4 and the 7 to get 11, so my nth term for this sequence is n squared add the 3n add 1, and together that makes the nth term of the sequence at the top. Let's just do another one of those, so I'm going to do a second question here, and if you want to have a go, now would be a great time to pause the video and have a go on your own, if not, watch along with me and I'll do another one. Here are the first five terms of a quadratic sequence, 2, 10, 22, 38 and 58. Find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence. So we're going to do the same thing again, and it's gone up by 8, it's gone up by 12, it's gone up by 16, and it's gone up by 20. Now those numbers are not the same, and we're going to go again. It goes up by 4, up by 4, and up by 4. So that's uh, that second difference, we always divide that by 2, and that gives us 2. So this is going to be 2n squared, just means the number in front of n squared is going to be a 2, always half of the second difference. Now that means on this question, we're going to need to do our square numbers, but then we're going to need to double them because of that 2 out the front. So 1 squared for the first position is 1, but double it and you get 2. 2 squared for the second position is 4, but double it and you get 8. 3 squared for that third position is 9, but double it and you get 18. 4 squared is 16, double it you get 32. And 5 squared is 25, double it is 50. So let me just put the square numbers that we used over the top. 1, uh, one squared is 1, double is 2. 2 squared is 4, double is 8. And we had 9, 16 and 25. So you're always going to be working with the square numbers but in this case, we had to double them as well. So now looking from 2 to 2, I don't need anything else. I just need an extra 0. From 8 to 10, I need another 2. From 18 to 22, I need another 4. 32 to 38, I need another 6. And 50 to 58, I need another 8. That sequence is the 2 times table, 2n, but it's actually too smaller, because instead of starting on a 2, it's starting on a 0. So that's important, 2n minus 2. So altogether, 
2 and the 0 would make 2, 8 and the 2 would make 10, 18 and the 4 would make 22, and so on. So we know that the nth term is 2n squared, add 2n minus 2. And that's it. All done. Well done if you managed to follow along and go and watch any more of my videos if you'd like some help with the revising for your GCSE maths.